This is a demonstration of the 3D kitchen design application. In this we're going to go through a relatively complex design including an oven tower, a scullery and an island unit. The design that you're seeing is being done in real time and you'll see how quickly and accurately design is put together. So we're going to start by placing walls and the wall dimensions are typed to be accurate. Walls can be placed at any length and any angle. The next thing we're going to do is choose the style of doors and drawer fronts we're using and then also the floor pattern. And that can be changed at any time. After that's done we just start adding in the panels and cabinets. So start with a tall end panel and then go into the upper category to select a fridge over cupboard typing its dimension to alter that and then zoom in to snap that into position against the panel. The next thing is an oven tower unit which we're going to place all assembled and we're going to change the upper cupboard in that to match the pattern of the rest of the design. All the cabinets can have different patterns even if they're linked. Now we're going to place in uh, some finger pull drawer units resize those to 900 mil and just copy them across so put in three of those quite quickly and then on the end of that we're going to select an end panel to place in and the first section of the design through to that wall is complete and the next thing we're going to do is place some over cupboards so again we'll get some double flap units change their dimensions and place them in. Also select a specific pattern for those and drop three of those in at 900 millimeters and select an upper end panel to go against the wall. Make that the size we want and just snap it into position. The next thing we're going to do is add the toe kick to that section so we just snap that into position around the base units select that and set it back. In this case we're setting it back 80 millimeters. The next thing that's going on there is the bench so we just also select that and snap that into position and it clicks to the base cabinets and we're going to uh, place a specific pattern on that so we're going to choose in this case a grey marble pattern and you can see on the left hand side of the screen we can zoom in and see the pattern that we're applying and just accept that. The next thing we'll place in is a extractor hood and then above that unit we're going to place the hood flue and after that we're going to select a cooktop there's a variety of options to choose from and again we just snap that into position Next thing we're doing is placing a section of toe kick specifically under the oven tower and we're going to set that back the same value as the other base units. Next thing into place will be just for graphic purposes a fridge, a variety of those we can choose from and we're going to set that forwards uh, a, a small value just to bring it slightly in front of the unit and there we can see that in a very short space of time we've completed that wall and uh, we can view that in 3D, pan around it in real time and see exactly what we've been producing. We just close that and continue with the design. So we're going to grab that design, drag it sideways so we can uh, move on to the scullery section. In this case we're going to type in some more wall values and placing in four separate walls and uh, to, to create the scullery uh, open section. And from then we can zoom in so we can get a clearer view of this small scullery section and start adding in the panels and units. So we're going to select uh, an end panel and place that up against the wall. And we're going into the next section to get our draw unit. Going to resize that to the size that we want. 
snap it into position and then go back to the cabinet library to choose the next unit, in this case a, a one door unit. Placing a panel on the end back to the wall and copying that and rotating it and snapping it to the previous panel so that we can move cabinets off that point. Another one door unit and then uh, the next unit will be another finger pull three draw unit which we're going to also resize and snap into position. Just copying the previous panel across to the end and now we're going to place a tall panel in position so that we can put a tall unit next to that. We go back and select another tall panel to put on the other end by the opposite wall and then we're going to place a tall pantry unit in there. So we resize that to the size to fit the gap and apply that and snap it into position. All the time we can pan and zoom in and out of the design to get to the particular points we want to get. Now we're going to add an, an appliance garage in the corner. Make that the dimension we want and also again just snap that into position. Next unit to go in will be another over cupboard and this time we're going to choose a open shelf unit with a single shelf. Again resize that to suit uh, the gap that we want to place it in and apply that. I'm just going to uh, pick that up now and rotate it around and drop it into position. Spin that round and place it. We go back now we're going to place an open shelf corner unit in. Now we're going to change all the dimensions of this, including its width and height. We're going to alter its depth and also we're going to alter each end depth as well. So we've uh, altered all the possible dimensions on this unit. And again just snap it into position. We're just copying the previous one shelf unit across to the other side, making it a, a slightly different dimension and snapping that into position. Now we're going to place a, a toe kick under these scullery units. Very quick process, we just move around inside the units and snap the toe kick into the points where it changes direction. Choose the overhang button and shift the toe kick back, same as the previous part of the kitchen. So the next thing we're placing in is the bench and we're going to run that right through underneath the appliance garage and back to the corner. Going to select that unit and also make it the same marble pattern as the rest, the grey marble pattern as the rest. Just zoom that back to fit the screen and we'll just have a quick look at that in 3D. So again you can see we've made now quite another a complex section of the design and the design is becoming a complete kitchen. You can pan around and view and see that we've done things the way we intended to, to do them. The final section of the design is happening now. We're just going to place an island unit. So we're going to take a draw unit. I'm going to make it the size that it will want. Then we're going to uh, actually place that up against the end of the the wall in the design. Simply click it with the right mouse button and shift it back the value we want to get it in its correct position. So we've shifted it back 1200 millimeters and then we just carry on as before selecting units and snapping them into place. Get a sink unit next. We're going to uh, size that to what we want and beside that we're going to place a dishwasher. And again we can select from a variety of options and put that into position. The next thing we put in is the toe kick underneath this island unit. Same process as all the time. Set that back the value that we want. Place a 
waterfall end on each end of these units. So we get that, make it the size that we want, and again the pattern that we want. So again, we're going to make this the grey marble pattern. Apply that and pick it up, and we're going to drop two of these, one on each end. Very fast to do. Let's say the next section will be a section of bench and we're going to place two benches quite complex here so we're typing the value of this we're going to create a, a U section coming through and then we're going to place a separate section of bench uh, inside that and slightly lower so we're putting a, a thicker marble bench on the top now coming through to the end and snapping it in position and again setting the pattern that we want on this one with the grey marble. Now we're going to hide everything else except benches. So now we can see exactly how to snap in the lower section of bench which will just be a straight rectangle snapped to the points of the first bench that was placed. So now we have two separate sections of bench, one U shape and one inset bench which we will make a different pattern. Now we're placing in a sink unit which we just pick up and snap automatically to the centre of that section of bench. And now we're setting a different pattern for the inset uh, bench section. Bring the whole design back into view now. And the next thing we're going to add is a back panel. In this case we're just going to put a single panel right through. We could put two uh, equal size panels in because it's quite long, but in this case we're just putting a single panel straight through. Snapping it in behind. And we're just panning out now to view the 3D option. and we can pan around and see exactly what we've done. So this is a complete design done in less than 12 minutes in real time and this design is complete ready to print floor plans, bench plans, toe kick plans, 3D views, elevation views and uh, for those who have the uh, other modules can go through directly now to costing and production and two CNC machines if required. So you can see that the design is done very quickly. We've just added a few more cosmetic things, some doors, some switches, uh, some scotia at the top of the wall, and we can pan around and see uh, quite clearly what the design is for the customer. So I hope this has given you a good idea of what can be achieved with 3D Kitchen, how quickly and how accurately it can be done. And so I hope you'll just take a bit of time to look around our website. And uh, any more information you want, just click on our contact details page and you'll see how to contact us uh, for any other information you want. Thanks for your time.